Hey guys, meteorologist Jim Rinaldi here. I uh, just want to give you a quick overview here and add on to what uh, uh, Josh has posted on the, uh, the skew teeth soundings and uh, how to use them for predicting what type of uh, precipitation might be falling in your area. <clears throat> now this is the, um, uh, right here we're looking at a snow sounding. Now why is this a snow sounding? Well, here is your zero degree isotherm right there. And that's the, uh, the zero degree Celsius line. Here's your temperature profile. And here is your dew point profile. As you can clearly see, the entire atmosphere is below freezing. When you see that, it's going to be snow. And you can also see it's also very moist with the temperature and dew point pretty much uh, uniform, you know, all the way up until about, uh, really, it's, it's, I mean, it's pretty, pretty close all the way up to about uh, 400 millibars. But, I mean, it's, it's really saturated up to about uh, 650 millibars, uh, 700, and, yeah, 650 millibars there. So, you know, it's, it's cold. It's a deep, uh, moist layer. It's snowing in this sounding here. So that's what you want to look for there. Now, if you're looking for sleet, well, then you want to go, what you want to look for is, here's your, again, here's your zero-degree isotherm. But look what happens. Look at the temperature profile. Temperature profile is going above freezing here between 700 and 800 millibars. So that means that any snow that's falling up here, now this, this sounding obviously is not as saturated, but it, it probably is going to be snowing up in here. And uh, you're going to have snow falling into this warm layer. That snow is going to melt in this area here into raindrops. But look down here. Look, once you get below seven, uh, 800 millibars, look how deep this cold layer is down here at the surface. So what's going to happen is these snowflakes are going to melt up in here, and they're going to refreeze into ice pellets down here. So that's what you want to look for. You want to look for a warm wedge uh, above a cold, deep cold layer, and that will be a... Uh, a sleep producer. Now, as far as freezing rain goes, what you want to look at is, okay, here's your, again, here's your zero degree isotherm. Now you have a very deep warm layer here. This is a much deeper warm layer, but look, but it does go below freezing again at the, at the surface, but look how shallow that cold layer is there, you know, as compared to the sleet sounding, which has the deep cold layer in there. So, you know, you go to freezing rain, it's very shallow cold air. So what happens is the snowflakes are going to melt into raindrops it's not going to have time to freeze again into ice pellets. So what's going to happen is it's going to fall to the surface as rain, but when it hits things on the surface, because it's below freezing, then that rain is going to freeze on contact, and that's when we get our freezing rain. So I just want to show you that real quick. I'm going to try to do something tomorrow on more in-depth winter weather forecasting, the importance of using the various layers uh, of thicknesses, not just the, the uh, 540 thickness line, not just the zero-degree isotherm. Uh, what the magic number is, uh, it's a tool that's kind of been lost uh, in use, but uh, it can be a very good predictor. I'll show you what that is, and, uh, but I'll have to get to that tomorrow. I just wanted to do this real quick for you tonight. Uh, that is it. I am meteorologist Jim Rinaldi. Hope you enjoyed.